hey guys so today i'm bringing you this grenadian recipe it's a delicious grenadian pastry we call it meal in a loaf although i grew up calling it meat loaf but it's so good and it's a really popular pastry that you can find in the bakeries back home so let's get started with the recipe okay so to make this pastry you're going to start off by making like a dough so in this bowl right here in my cup I have some lukewarm water and I'm adding in some sugar give that a stir mixing the sugar into the water and then I'm gonna add in some yeast all right and give it a slight mix you're gonna cover it and let that rise let it poof up for about five minutes so just set it aside covered for five minutes while that's doing its thing we're gonna start making the dough all right so get yourself a large bowl in the large bowl you're gonna add some flour some salt a little bit of softened butter and a little bit of oil and mix all of those ingredients together rubbing the butter into the flour okay next I'm gonna take the yeast mixture it should look something like this after five minutes and I'm gonna pour that into my flour mixture and then I'm using my hands to mix that together you want the flour to come together and start forming a dough okay so I'm just using my hands and I'm gonna work that together if the dough after you have mixed it is too sticky you can add in a little bit more flour if it's needed okay so yeah, I'm gonna mix that until it forms a dough and then basically I'm gonna knead the dough for about five minutes until it's nice and soft and smooth. Once I'm finished kneading my dough, you guys, I'm gonna use some nonstick cooking spray or you can use butter, whatever you have, to oil the bottom of that bowl. Then I'm gonna place the dough into the bowl and then flip it so it doesn't stick when we cover it, all right? So next, you wanna take a clean kitchen towel or paper towel, cover the top of the bowl and place it somewhere warm, covered. All right, and you're gonna let the dough rise for one hour. All right, it's gonna double in size. So I place mine on top of my oven. I turn my oven on so that that area is nice and warm, and it's gonna help my dough to rise up and do its thing. So while the dough is resting, I'm gonna get started on the filling for the pastry. So usually what we use to make this pastry is a special kind of salami or sausage that we use in the Caribbean. If I find a picture, I'll insert it somewhere here, but like that salami is so hard to find up here. So I have to improvise. So I'm using this turkey kielbasa sausage here. You can use any type of sausage and what we're gonna do is grate it. I'm also gonna be using about two cloves of garlic and a little bit of onion. And we're gonna be grating all of this. I'm using these two sides of my grater. The final one is gonna be for the onion and garlic and the larger one is for the sausage and I'm just gonna grate everything up together in a bowl also you want to use a fully cooked sausage okay so like the one I'm using it was fully cooked but I just need to like warm mine up to be okay with it you don't have to so what I do is I added a little bit of oil in the bottom of a pan and then I added the sausage and I'm just warming up the sausage with the onion and grated garlic for about one minute not long at all um if i was using the regular salami from back home i wouldn't have done this so yeah this is why i'm saying you don't have to do it and i'm adding in a little bit of black pepper into the sausage all right and one minute and i'm gonna turn it off the heat Guys, so after one hour here is the dough and as you can see it has doubled in size so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna punch it to kind of deflate the dough a little bit and then I'm gonna sprinkle some flour on my counter surface you want to sprinkle a good amount of flour on your counter surface trust me on this you guys when you're making this pastry you need enough flour to work with in the bottom of it because when you go to transfer the pastry onto the baking sheet is it gets a little bit tricky okay so add enough flour and what I'm gonna do is roll out my dough using my rolling pin make sure you dust the rolling pin and before you roll it out I'm kneading it a little bit and then yeah I'm just gonna roll it out into the shape of a 
large square or more of a rectangle a large rectangle and I make it not too too thin but you don't want it you don't want it thick either all right once it's in the shape of that rectangle and it's flat I'm gonna start stuffing my dough so the first thing I'm doing is brushing it with a little bit of melted butter so brush the top of the dough with some melted butter and then I'm gonna sprinkle on some cheese. So the cheese I'm using today is some um, shredded cheddar cheese and I'm also gonna be using a blend of Mexican cheese. Traditionally, we use anchor cheese, anchor cheddar cheese, the cheese from the Caribbean, but again, I'm improvising here, all right? So just keep that in mind and yeah, so I'm brushing it with the butter and then I'm gonna add a layer of cheese on one half of the dough, okay? The other half is gonna be to flip over and seal the dough. So on one half of the dough, I'm adding the shredded cheese and then I'm gonna add my sausage on top of that. The sausage, onion, and garlic mixture. And I'm just gonna sprinkle that at a nice even layer and you could add a good amount stuff your dough really well and then what you're gonna do after that is add some yellow mustard so the mustard you could actually brush it on the dough itself before you add the cheese and the sausage but because I forgot to do that I'm just gonna drizzle it on top of the sausage and lightly just mix it into the sausage and the cheese all right and then you're gonna top it off with some more cheese so on top of the sausage I added some more cheddar cheese and also some mozzarella cheese so I'm using a mixture of both cheese and I'm gonna sprinkle a good even layer on top of it and once you finish doing that you're gonna get ready to seal the pastry all right so to seal it you have to lift up that other half of the dough and cover the filling with that okay so this is where it gets a little bit tricky because it is a large pastry and working with dough you have to be careful so it doesn't tear as you can see I was having a little bit of problem because the dough was sticking to the bottom of my counter surface this is why I said add like a good layer of flour beneath the dough okay it'll help a lot before you roll it out it can be too much flour after you fold it you could always use a pastry brush to dust off the extra flour on top of the pastry and below if you'd like all right so fold it over you can get someone to help you that'll make it a little bit easy here to fold it and then you want to seal the edges of the pastry really really well if you need you can use water to wet the edges and then cover it I didn't really need to do that because my dough was working really fine with me today so I didn't really need the water but if you need it you can do that okay so after I sealed the pastry what I'm gonna do is I'm just using a knife to mark out how I'm gonna cut my meal in a loaf after it's finished baking so it, it comes out into the shape of a triangle like a pizza slice basically so so I'm just averaging how I'm gonna cut it out after because right now I'm gonna cut my dough in half as you see me doing so to know where to cut it I'm doing that all right so I'm cutting the dough in half be careful while you're cutting it and the reason why I'm cutting it is so that it'll be easier to manage and place on my baking sheet to bake all right so after I cut it you want to use your hands and seal the end that you just cut as best as you can and then use both hands to lift the dough off the counter surface and place it on your baking sheet if you need someone to help you doing this you can and I'm baking my pastry on two different baking sheet obviously all right so next what I'm gonna do you guys is I'm just cleaning up the sides of my pastry so I'm cutting off any extra dough that I may have making it look nice and smooth and clean you're gonna do the same thing to the second pastry and then I'm gonna brush some more melted butter on top of my pastry and also preheat your oven to 350 degrees you guys once the oven is nice and hot you're gonna place your pastry in the oven to bake and you're gonna let it bake for about 25 to 30 minutes until it's nice and golden brown on top so when it comes out of the oven it's gonna look like this and I'm just gonna brush it with some more melted butter once it comes out again and next I'm just gonna cut all my pastry in 
to the shape of like pizza slices basically that's how they usually come all right so just do what you see me doing with your knife if you want you can let the pastry cool before you cut it if that's easier for you and that is it you guys that meal in a loaf so delicious such a good pastry and it tastes amazing so thank you guys so much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed the tutorial please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel so you can see my upcoming videos and i'll see you guys next time bye